Welcome back to Seasons, a YouTube devotional series that I am doing as a companion to my book by the same title. And today we're going to get right at it. Today I'm going to be talking more to you rather than reading from the book, except for a short passage we'll start out with. And the title today is called Let Them Soar. And the story that I tell at the beginning of this is about a young woman that I mentored and befriended and walked beside through the internet while she garnered enough courage and strength to get help that she desperately needed in her life. And she sought that help and saw freedom come in her life through local agencies and a wonderful local church. And so I'm going to start reading on the other side of healing from my friend. As her health improved, Cheryl had an abundance of physical energy and emotional strength. She rejoiced that she was able to watch her children play sports and she quickly became a minivan driving soccer mom, just like any other mother in her city. As she stepped out into her new life, she stepped away from our friendship. Although I missed her, I understood and I rejoiced in her freedom. That's the bittersweet joy of ministry and Christian fellowship. We see people healed and then we watch them move on in victory. Sometimes it means saying goodbye. We must learn to celebrate our fledgling birds spreading their wings and flying into freedom, even if that new flight pattern takes them far away from us. Okay. We have to be very careful that our natural reluctance to let them go and to move on doesn't cloud any advice that we might give them. If we've been in a mentoring or counseling position over them and they've walked through healing and they're doing really well, we have to let them go. We can't be holding on to them through subtle manipulations. And the only way we can make sure that we're keeping our heart and our communication with our friends clean and pure is by allowing the Holy Spirit to search our hearts to make sure that the words that we are speaking are words that are based on His revelation and not words that are based out of our fear of that potential loss of a relationship, or at the very least, a big change in that relationship.